we're back. So in part one, just to catch everyone up that may or may not have been here before, uh, we actually got to see uh, Kaelin and our terror have a duel of wits that in- included more dueling and less witsing. Um, and uh, we also got to see a, a lovely scene between uh, uh, Kaelin and brother Audrin discussing, you know, sort of strategies for, for advancement and whatnot. Uh, and a bunch of other things happened, including a Drossen randomly kidnapping the gear kid, which uh, we are we are definitely at odds on what is going to be the ultimate outcome of his fate. Uh, but uh, this is probably the time when we should actually have this conversation in character about what are our next moves as a group, right? Mm-hmm. Because like we were talking about all sorts of things, like oh maybe we can go up to Salt Crag or something. But I think, especially during the break, since I was I was discussing this, uh, I threw this out there, and and. Uh, are we thinking about moving east into White Beam, White Reach? Yeah, I think so. I think it's the yeah. Beam. Yes, I was right the first time. Ha <laughs> Go on. Because it also, the other thing it does is it secures us, like fictionally, is it secures us a retreat into the neighboring kingdom if we need one. Not there, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't want to take our terror over the mountains from the Sagelands into the, the Vale. <laughs> oh. Like trick. Don't you worry about our terror. I, I will. I will make it work. Just need a little more XP. Yeah. So I think like what is this? This is like uh, the three of us in. You know. Like a study or like something. You know, like a small private, uh, like breakfast room. Mm. Something of the sort in the keep. Is this a break? I love breakfast conversations. Let's talk over breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So another thing I would like to, like another trope I would like to poke fun at is like whenever people are planning shit like this, there's always like, there just happens to be a table that's carved in the shape of the kingdom and and uh, and they can like put nope. big pieces on it. I think but, yeah. our tear actually pulls a sketch out. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Wabam! Art Solace! What? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah, busting yeah. it out. Cool. Yeah, you've got like a, you know, a, a piece of paper that you've did with 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 a a, a sketch of uh, the provinces of Krobam. Yeah, and like Aaron, Aaron Fish is in. I think Aaron like fishes inside his his uh, robes and like pulls out the like the little bag that contains all of the pieces and the board for the the rape game and just yeah. starts like setting up like okay and like here's white beam and here's like you know here's the king over in high strap and here's us down here and here's where we know there's a wraith and like you know so we we get that scene we just like are more realistic about it uh, yeah i think i think I'll, I'll open this conversation the same way that i did the conversation that we were having earlier which is i think our terror points at avens and it's just like i wasn't joking the majority of the punch that gear has is here. If we take that, we cut off not only their levy of troops, we get the best archers in all the kingdoms under our pocket, but much more importantly, we also cut off the road north. Then any passage they want into the inland vales is still going to go over the mountains. They're not going to have an easy retreat unless they go into exile. And I don't know exactly how friendly an affair is to House Gear. Money will buy him a home, but there's a difference between a home and a mounted return. No, I can cut. Order typically don't have the best relationships with their neighbors. I wonder how many of the white beam sheep are actually from Garvin. Is white beam known for their sheep? I'm just curious. No, but like it, you know. Okay, carry on. Everything's fine. No, no, no. I know about like poaching sheep and everything. I was just double yeah, checking just, if you were making a cool reference or not. Joke. Yeah, I was just double checking. Double checking. All right, good. Yeah, and yeah, and so I think like Aaron just nods and says like, "I agree." I think once we have taken their military might from them. We hold that, we hold the air to the province. There's plenty that can be done with that kind of leverage. I think our terror says, look at that. 
we're both agreeing on something. And then he looks at, at, at Kale appointedly and says, what do you think? Yeah, Aaron laughs and like <laughs> slings you a bowl of oatmeal or something. And then it's, oh, boy, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, but, you know. Yeah. I think Kale like shakes her head a bit at that and then says like, no, it, it's, it's a sensible plan. Um, Just one problem. Sense. And that is? Everywhere we've gone so far, we've had leverage, right? Like, we've been able to convince people to join our side more with words than with actions. The kid wasn't wrong. Evans has been in the gear house for generations. They are not likely to go down easily, and they're not likely to go down peaceably. So I don't think that it's impossible for us to cut them off or to put them under our thumb, but I don't think that we're going to get the same kind of alliance that we did with the people in the southern markets and, you know, Drosten. Right, like we, we not only don't have an in, but there's a good chance that they are going to be more than willing to sneak people out to pass information back down to the house. So, do we have an approach? Because my my solution would be military, but I don't know how effective that's going to be long term. That's a that's a short term plan. If I may. It's interesting. Sometimes I forget that you two are related. You know, there's all the, all the, all the dirt on you and the scars. You've spent a working life, and I forget sometimes that you weren't born to the lower classes. Here's the thing. Out of character, I was. Wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. My, 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 I'm, I'm definitely a bastard. I'm, I'm an illegitimate child. I am not, like, two sides noble. I'm one side noble. But you were still raised in a castle. Uh, I was, but that's after my mom's was dead, and uh, Kale's half of the family was willing to take me in. Yeah, but, like, there's still, like, that is different than, like, Oren was, like, Oren was born a peasant. I see. In some okay. Shitty place somewhere. Right? Yeah, I, like, I, I, I was not raised. I, I mean, I did spend years at a castle, but it was not my first, like, say, six, six years or so, or seven years, something yeah, like that. Yeah, sure. But go on. Yeah. Yeah, and I think he says, "Your Majesty, cover your ears." The thing about peasants, and like that, he's clearly joking. And he's like, "The thing about the common people of the kingdom." is that nobles vastly overestimate how loyal they are. Because they imagine that somehow it is a relationship where both sides are equally invested, where all sides choose to participate. I almost would use the word equal, except of course nobles don't see it that way. Here's the truth. When it comes down to it, when the gloves are off and everyone is speaking the truth to one another, the reason that the peasants of Avens are loyal to House Gear is because the nobles hold a monopoly on violence. That, that is the simple truth of the world. If they had their choice, would they pay tithe and tax? Of course they wouldn't. It's a rare noble family in this kingdom who do anything to deserve it. All of which is to say, I am very confident that the people of Avens will have their discontent and will have their problems that have been overlooked by their generous overlords we hold it by force at first and then once we know what those discontents are and take steps to address them and they see the wind changing and he just kind of like makes a face like nobles love to think that you know the common people love them but that's secretly fucking bullshit I ain't talking about the common people here Audrin I'm talking about the, the, the military people in town the archers are treated pretty well, and morale is not determined by 
whether you pay taxes or not, they're paid. And they're paid pretty well. They're known for being the best archers. There's some pride in that. I think that... I don't know. Maybe we put your theory to the test. There might be something to that. But you're going to need a little bit more of a plan than maybe they're grumpy. Do we still have a Luke? Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. sorry. You looked frozen for just like a half second. I was like, uh-oh. All right, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I think Aaron like... Aaron's... I think... Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I think Kale speaks up and, and looks to Aaron and, and says, what do you know of the presence of race and white beam? It being a military post and all, or a military province. Good I don't think it is. I, I think that Av Evans generates archers, but I don't. I don't. I don't know that there are no forts and stuff. Like Narrow Coast has a lot of the military stuff. D does White Beam? I, I genuinely don't know. Strash, Strash doesn't know off the top of his head. Uh, in that case, yeah, I could it's... roll it back even and ask like, what what's the race like? Well, I think because it's a race and White Beam. I think we have kind of we've kind of implied and talked in the direction of like wraiths do tend to like quote unquote like want to go home in terms of like the general drift of them mm. so like even if just like you know like white beam produces a lot of troops who die elsewhere like those rates are still over time can i can i read a quick thing for us because this answers the question i think yeah uh white beam is a, so I'm, I'm just reading from the book straight yeah. uh white beam is a prosperous agricultural land where power has long been shared between two ancient houses gear and fiorag Decades ago, Gear took swift action against their rivals. Lord Gear raised the Fjorag keep, but died himself in the fighting. His daughter, Lady Briannag, now now rules. I'm probably mangling that name. Uh, she seeks to expand the house's influence through oh. more subtle means. Fjorag keep is flooded with wraiths. The castle is rendered <sighs> uninhabitable. Travel through the eastern edge of Whitebeam is dangerous at best. So, like, I feel like this answers our question to some oh, yeah, some extent, yeah, right? Yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. So, yeah, so I, th I think I think Aaron just, like... Aaron just like sighs and like sets down a wraith piece, you know, on the map, right where this like ruined keep is, and says, "There was a bad business. Uh, it must be thirty-five summers ago now. Before your time. Let's just say." Gear didn't come to solitary rule of Whitebeam, honestly. And there's bodies aplenty buried out in those fields. If we want wraiths, we'll find them. And what better... Well, perhaps it is not anger that we need to lean upon, but fear. And who better to quell that fear than a <laughs> witch of the wraiths? There's actually a wraith hunter there too, um, in that province. Um, Artair says uncommonly knowledgeable about a thing that I don't know if people knew that Artair, because usually everyone's like wraiths and Artair's like, bah, I'll bring silver. But like, this is the first time that, that Artair's just like, actually, there's a wraith hunter and she's famous. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah. Side note, uh, to back up your point, Luke, there's also apparently a small uprising in the East, so. Yeah, which, like, it is interesting because the word insurrectionist is used to describe that uprising, and I do literally have a friend on my sheet who is described as an insurrectionist. Hey, we love... Uh, uh, what we're asking now, literally, is, like, if we have... Because, like, I asked the mechanics question, technically, Couch is a fiction question, which I was like, what's our approach? Um, yeah. But I, I had nothing. So I'm, I'm learning about white beam. We're all learning about white beam. We're, learn, we're learning facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with anybody looking at at the text and, and or asking me questions, and I'll tell you or whatever. Awesome. And, like, before you go in, every, you, you do do recon, right? So, yeah, we also get recon. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's it sounds like we're definitely agreed that white beam is the place white beam is the place to go and if we're going there, let's try and take out the military might of it first. Mm. And then I, we can I think I think Kale's approach here may actually be legit too though. 
if we can stir up... Well, actually... Look, if you want me to summon some wraiths... Wait, you can summon wraiths? Yeah, if I spill some blood and I, like... Oh, that like kind of Anyone can do this. Like, I can't control them, no, but I can, like, I can attract some, which is dangerous and probably a terrible idea, but, like... No, no, that's that's legit, but, like, it. if people are worried and or scared about wraiths and we provide... Because one of the things that the Huntress is really known for is the fact that her rates are incredibly high, and she will people she will leave people to die who cannot pay. So, um, if we provide an alternate avenue, that that might actually give us leverage or something. That that's not that's actually a really smart plan, Kale. That's, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Learn, <laughs> kick and ass the planets. <laughs> oh, I'm 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 I'm, I'm proud to feel like Kale doesn't have that kind of strategy, but. <laughs> I'm glad I could ask the questions that lead to both a very interesting part of the setting and also create interesting uh, sorties. That also raises cool. a very interesting question, right? Because, like, if the eastern border is very wraith-strewn and we can pull the wraiths even to some degree north, that's definitely going to give us... We're going to corner them. Yeah, that'd be even better. Like, yeah, tossing in the chaos of the wraiths as we head north would be... Would be nice. <laughs> All right, so cool. we what have we? we have an agreement. We want to go to White Beam. Our plan is to go to Avens. Can we concretize this in terms of approaches and stuff? I think we're definitely trying to seize Avens. Okay. Um, like, are there some questions we have to answer for that? We're trying to vassal. Well, let me just check real quick. No, we can't vassalize because Avens is just held directly by Gear, Lady Gear. So that's no good. We don't want to pillage it. We'd like to keep those archers. They're great. We can <laughs> factions, but like, uh, at this point, we don't need it. We're not gaining. So yeah, I think we're seizing Avens. And the how? I suppose yeah. I, I think the question here is like. Do we play the, like, wraith angle, in which case we're kind of aiming to create an uprising? Like, we're trying to get a sympathetic, like, a groundswell of common support common, that yeah. will win us the day? Or do, we just, or do we just, like, go there and fucking take the place? Or do we do a siege and we, contain, we, we use the wraiths to contain the place? Hmm. Mm, these are the questions. These are very good questions. It's also worth noting. Just because, like, the, the way that this game talks about levies is always, like, a bit weird in that, like, it implies size in a way that, like. Like, there are 24 archers in Avens. Which, like, on the one hand, that's a lot. Like, that's a lot of people. That's sure. a lot. There's a lot more. Oh, we've got eight archers, scouts. Like, yeah, right? Like, that's a lot more archers than we have. Yep. But on the flip side, like, 24 people <laughs> in a town of, you know, a thousand or whatever is like, there's not that many. It's true. But so like, they're people yeah, that are dedicated just, exclusively to the archering. Yeah. I, I just think it's important for us to, like, keep the scale, like, in front of mind. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I don't know if it has thousands of people, though. Like, I don't know how big it is. Like, villages in my mind are, like, a thousand tops. I mean, yeah, that's another thing is that, like, this game is not particularly specific about that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter. Even if it's, like, a single keep, 24 people is a thing that that's, like, a manageable number, right? Yeah. I mean, it is the same value as Bell Heather was. And Bell Heather is a busy crossroads. Yeah. So, like, they are probably, so like, not... And they're the same tier. So, like, they're probably, like relatively comparable in scale is my feeling another well, thought is you've got her son so you walk in and it's a, a it, it, it it's a diplomatic sit down and you work out a deal you mean on the primrose to the primrose estates and like mm -hmm. maybe yeah. i don't know i'm less interested in that i think i think <laughs> if we're gonna try and do the sit if we're gonna do, try and do the sit down i would love to have a second I'd, I'd want to have two pieces of leverage to play with, not just one. Right, right, right. Because, like, for all we know, this woman is, like, a cold stone badass. We'll just be like, cool, kill my kid. And then we've got, like... Then we got nothing. Mm. 
I want a backup plan. <laughs> That's true. I, having played Crusader Kings 3, when you get like five kids, you're like, I don't fucking care. Like, you're doing me a favor by killing one of them. <laughs> the air no, I don't have to worry about secession or what yeah, I leave exactly. them. <laughs> we don't know yet if this kid is a strong hook or a weak hook. <laughs> Yes, exactly, exactly. Well, maybe that's a question we can answer with some. Yeah, I could try and answer oh that with some spite, spiteness. Actually, yeah. So, do, is that yeah? Is that what we're gonna do? Like, we know roughly what we want to do. Do we want to do some recon to help us like narrow in on like how we want to do it? Sure. That that's the way to go. Do you have an idea of a question or a situation that's going to answer that? Because I I don't know hundred percent. Like most of my questions would be like literally like survey based. Like Judd, what are some good military approaches that we can take some archers out? Well, Aaron has a little bit of leverage, would... right, with a, with a contact, potentially? Yeah, exactly. Like, mm -hmm. I think... Because I think, like, no matter what happens, the plan is to go to Avon's, which means that, like, we, we gotta go to Whitebeard. Okay, so let's do I, it. I, so I think, yeah, I think, like, I think this recon happens in Whitebeard. Um, Judd, do you want to make us roll to cross the border? Like, No. No, no, no. All right, cool. Yeah, so we just get, like, a montage of us in some, like, high, kind of craggy, like, Badland Hills. Uh, yeah. the end of Sound of Music, I understand. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, I, yeah, I think... and, I, and, I, and I think there are times where, like, you, you know, you have to double back because there are, like, just too many wraiths ahead. Um, it's, and, the, and... It's, the, it's the eastern border, Judd, where the yeah. wraiths are. So it's oh, like it's got, uh, on on the fair. Okay. Yeah, on the fast. Got side. it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I was. No, you're I got my east and west mixed up. <laughs> All uh, the great. Common common mistake. Common mistake. Great. Oh yeah, yeah. Then yeah, you just walk across the border. Yeah. I don't. Need, I don't need you to roll for that. Yeah. But yeah, so you know, I think you know, we get the like the montage of us crossing the border, and it's all very exciting. You know, like yay, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, and you know, our levy is going with us, and. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I think, like, I think Oren's recon is, like, I go to see my old friend. Um, right. My friend is called Lilius, and they are an insurrectionist. Nice. And they are part of the common branch. Yeah. Who are, as far as I can tell, fighting, they're fighting the Ubals to regain common, to open the Gowry orchards back up to the common people. Yeah. <laughs> This sounds like a kale plan. <laughs> cool. Uh, how did you know Lilius? Did did you go to school together? Did yeah, you? How do we know each other? I oh my god. <laughs> I think Aaron spent some time in his youth at. I, like, it's not on the map. I don't think it's even big enough to be a faction. I think there is a very small, or was, a very small monastery in Whitebeam that was like a Trappist, a Trappist monastery. Yeah. And so they made, they made cider and parry from like the, yeah the pro, you know, the product of the, the orchards. And I think like Aaron, I think Aaron was a Trappist monk for like, yeah. you know, four years or something when he was like, I don't know, 22, like, you know, yeah. way back in the day. Yeah, yeah. And I think, I think, uh, I think that monastery was near Fjordag Keep and, yeah, and, and was so and, and was wiped out when when that keep turned into a, a wraith magnet. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Love it. Yeah, Lilius uh uh is is having a cider uh and and <laughs> he 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 goes to the bar and gets one for you and sets two sets two mugs down and uh and and gives you a hug and says, uh, "You look well. Welcome to White Beam." I wish I could say the same for you, but I understand the struggle is hard. You're, you're still a bastard. <laughs> is what you are. <laughs> so, uh, how is? Does he know what you're doing? Do you think? Like, does he know? No, I think. Like, I think. I think. I think. I'm about to tell him. Right. Like, yeah. 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 He says. So what are you up to? You were really vague in all your letters. Well, I have I have good news and I have bad news. Love it. The bad news is that being seen in my company could technically be considered treason and put you in danger, except, of course, and we both, like, share a chuckle over the fact that, like, if he were caught wearing his, uh, you know, common branch 
yeah. that he would also be arrested for treason. So like, it doesn't really fucking matter. Yeah. And I see the good news is, I don't know how much news you've heard out of the Sedgelands recently, but um, Kale Lalera is back. The Night of No Moon was considerably less successful than Maddock likes to claim. Cool. I think I think I I, uh, I think a, a cuss word in this kingdom is is locked door. And uh, yeah, he says that. He says locked door. You're kidding me. No word of a lie. Segain is out of the way. The true Lalaire holds the Sedgelands. And we've done all right with this one, Lilius. We've done all right. I was her primary tutor growing up. I've stayed her primary tutor in exile. She's got a decent heart, which is more than you can say for most of the parasites in their keeps. <laughs> Oh, listen to you. You sound uh you sound like we did you still sound like we did in our twenties. You're gonna you're gonna find a good one. And they're gonna they're gonna be right. They're gonna make the throne a noble institution again. <laughs> I think he snorts at that and he's like, Look When you grow up, you know. He is he is realistically is there a prospect of ever overthrowing the aristocracy in this kingdom or any other? Not in our lifetimes. But I found a position where I've got someone with power who's willing to listen to me and who, who, knows, who knows if it took, we'll find out when she actually gets power, but who does fundamentally believe that there's value in common land, that inflicting terror upon the common people just to motivate them is not necessarily the wisest way of managing a kingdom. You ever heard of uh, Brother Errol? And I think- Anyway, yeah, he's uh, in a, he runs Warren. a monastery in Saltcrag and He's apparently, I've seen glimmers of it. He's writing a treatise called The Untread Path. And his thesis is that the rates are being caused by the corrupt feudal state. Yeah, the problem is the guy is an asshole. I mean, he is an asshole. I'd rather have also... three kings. And an empress. Also, I'd, I'd love to ask some questions. Is his implication that the corruption is the problem or that the feudal state is the problem? He's hopelessly unclear. <laughs> you haven't, even, why you, he's doing you so haven't even you haven't even read it yet. You've just it's summarized God. it to me in such an ambiguous way that it could be about either, which I think is precisely. Oh, my God. You haven't changed magic. a fucking wit, not a wit. <laughs> Look, what brings so so, so what is, brings here's what, why I'm here. Yeah. So the first person that uh, Kale allied herself with when we arrived in the Sedgelands was a bandit captain called Drosten. Uh-huh. This is what I'm saying. Not exactly the normal kind of noble. Desperate times, calls for desperate actions. Drosten... She didn't have to make him a lord and give him a keep. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, wow, this one's really different. You've really uh you've really convinced me. <laughs> Where I'm going with this, Lilius, is that Drosten still hasn't learned that he's not abandoned anymore. And so last week he decided to take some of his men across the border. And I'm sure you've heard about the kerfuffle that happened down at the manor and at the estate and the fact that uh the young the young lord is missing. Oh, that's where Eoden is? Oh my, you, you've got him? 
Oh, wow. And so we've got no choice now but to come here before going anywhere else. <laughs> so I thought I would visit my old friend and put to you the proposition that won't you have better odds at getting the common land back with someone in control who has me whispering in her ear than whichever bastard you currently have. I'm not asking for a commitment yet. Yes, you are. We need a commitment for Evans. If we can get their support, that'd be great. I mean, the the problem is getting them as part of the faction. Like, that's that's a score, right? Is getting them on side. Maybe. Maybe we could spend a coin to acquire assets, some some people for a one time job. Um, I suppose I want I want information. I think Oh I see, okay. Else. Yeah, so I think he's like, look, I'm not I'm not asking for a commitment now. I you haven't even met her yet. I understand if that happens, if that's even gonna be on the table, there's gonna need to be a sit down conversation. What I'm saying is we're arriving, we're gonna disrupt things around here. There's opportunity in that for you. And a little bit of information, if you could spare it to help me disrupt things, would be very much appreciated. Let's let's see what you all do when you arrive. How about what do you need to know? Yeah, and so do you want me to do you want me to do a roll and we'll see how this we'll yeah. see mechanically how this looks? Sure, sure. Yeah, and so this is an action roll because it is happening uh, as recon. I, I think this is a sway. You know, he seems like he needs to be convinced. Cool. Yeah. Uh, position risky controlled. Uh, I figure it's not desperate. No, it's not desperate. Um, I don't know what would be risky about this. I feel like he's an old friend. Now it's it's controlled standard. He's he's a friend on your sheet. Controlled standard. And all you're going for is information right now. You're not trying to get like a. Yeah, I'm not trying to get a, a, a blood commitment or anything. Yep, and I've got a bonus die because he is my friend. Yay, friendship. Yeah. And I got a six. Wow, cool. Uh, and tell me again a little bit more about what you were looking for. Uh, I want to know. I, I've, I've, I have like two, two real things that I want to know. One, I want to know about. Uh, I want to know about the lady. I want to get a. Like, without ever saying as much, because, like, we're both, like, sort of revolutionaries and we understand that, like, some things you shouldn't, like, say out loud. Yeah. Like, I want to know, I kind of, like, hint around the question of, is she the kind of person who's going to give a shit if we, like, either try and, like, ransom her son back to her or, like, threaten to kill her son if she doesn't fold? Like, how, how much does she care about this kid? And then yeah. I think the other thing, the other thing I'm angling for is just like any, anything, any, any information about the kid and things, you know, what the gossip might be about the kid, anything that will give me like an angle to work when I'm trying to like flip him would be great. Nice. He's like, listen, uh, I think the the paths and ways are watching out for you because honestly I'd rather fight an insurrection against Maddox Lolaire than against the Gear sisters. They're ruthless, they're calculating. They they're pretty brutal. And and really the only thing that's keeping them from running this kingdom like clockwork is Maddox. who I think, and I don't know him, I just hear things, I think he's a disaster. But anyway, that's just my opinion from a distance. That sounds about right. He certainly never could play Wraiths for shit. What is, uh, what is, the, you know, you want to know more about uh, Brianna, Brianna Gear? I kind of feel like that gives us all. That, I kind of feel like that gives me all I need to know about her. I want to know about the boy. He 
He's known to have a temper. Uh, Aaron, Aaron laughs. He, yeah, I mean, he, uh, he beat some servants with an inch of their lives for messing some things up. Spilling some wine on him. He's that kind of guy. Uh, really looks up to his newly married uncle and this idea of a standing army that Maddox is trying to bring into reality. And believe me, uh, being tied up and dragged into the Sedgelands is not the way he wanted to be brought into the Sedgelands. He wanted to march there at the head of an army. Any paths and we don't always get what we want. He paints <clears throat> landscapes, they're terrible. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm not giving you very much. Uh you're giving you more more than more than you think. Um I think the sisters are tight. I think I think there's not much of a wedge to be to be thrown in there. Uh, Brianna and Fiona. I mean, they're they're known to be very close in their youth. And they're they they exchange letters now. Messengers come and go all the time. Do they now? Yeah, and I think like we just see like a gleam in Aaron's eye at the idea of like messages go back and forth. And he's like, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Oh, Audrin, I would like to point out that I have a friend who be a messenger. <laughs> mm, we're gonna talk about this later. <laughs> but yeah, and so I think you know, I think I think like Aaron, Aaron like nods and is like, "You're a good friend, Lilius. You're a good friend." And. Look, it's not up to me, but um, let me just raise the possibility that if your lot could use some coin, the revolution doesn't run on an empty purse. Hey, that would be great. We actually got some resources from... Uh... Anyway, there... There are these ladies in Saltcrag. They call themselves the the. Uh, he's, he's like the witches. Oh yeah, yeah. Apparently they're doing really well now. I don't know. Oh. Well, anyway, Could they it... sent us some stuff, so that's been nice. The ones Errol is so um, anyway. Yeah. But yeah, if if you have any hotheads looking for a fight, you know we've got some coin. And I think I think we like we fade out there, but that's basically just me giving myself permission to like, yeah. If we want to like flashback for a downtime and get another levy or something, we've got you know we've got that set up. Cool, cool. And I think like the last thing he says to you is he like says, if you want to fight for bring, getting land to the common people, come on over, because she's going to let you down. Yeah, and I think Aaron Aaron like nods. Like clasps his arm. It's like it's good to see you. Good to see you too. Cool. Flashback to <laughs> well, cut yeah. to Damn. yeah. Who else has got some uh, recon? Get some recon first. To... No, uh, which is weird, right? Like this is a straight up fight. You'd imagine that I would have the most recon, but it's not. It's a capture and hold, which is weird. Um, I think the only recon that I would have is I would actually try and figure out what the stance is of the archers in the town. Like, how are they feeling? Mm -hmm. How strong are their loyalties? How powerful is that hold? What's it going to cost? Is it just a question of cost or is this like a pride and, and is like, sentiment? yeah. Um, I think I would, I would, it's the kind of thing that 
uh, Artair is actually good at, right? Like, like my, my vice is camaraderie. And I think that a lot of this is about, like, going to the right bar, saying the right things to talk to the right people. This is the old, like, hey, I'm military too. Let's talk about this battle that we have in common. Or like, oh, look at this car. I got this one when, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, definitely with dyed hair, though, because otherwise I'd stand out like a sore thumb. Uh, but yeah, that's a, that's sort of the, the vibe that I'm going for, right? Like, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can make some friends amongst the archers and sort of, like, fill them out. Yeah. Yeah, relive, relive some of the Merc days where you can tell yeah. stories of your time there. Yeah. Cool. Tell them about the time you tackled a guy off a horse. <laughs> tried to kill you. Sounds good. Uh, how how I won my 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 uh, was it like my 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 right hand my first in charge through a duel or something I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Duel so, of wits. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, just actual duel. <laughs> All so right. So are you like? Go on. Yeah, no, that, that's it, Judd. I don't have a lot of sneakiness here. Uh, it's, okay. Well, actually, I have a lot of sneakiness here. I'm trying to talk to these people and and sort of like feel them out, right? Like I yeah, I want to see yeah, who yeah. they are and like where the loyalties lie. Because we have a lot of answers about nobility, but that's not going to matter tomorrow. Like, yeah, if we if we take this town and we take them, like, how much trouble are we going to have? What's like, like that? That's that's what I'm trying to figure out. Um, and yeah, I don't I don't have a whole lot there. I don't have a special friend amongst their forces or anything. So like, if you've got yeah. any questions and or tips, or if you just want me to roll, that's fine. Like, we can we can talk this out. Yeah, yeah. Um, let, let's make a roll. Let's see what you get. Uh, what's our role for this? Sounds like consort, right? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, yeah. I have zero dice in that. Hang on. I was correct. Oddly enough, our tear should have dice in consort. I'll work on that. But, yeah. Uh, I like that you you find solace in camaraderie and you're not good at it. I think that's very endearing. I think it's not endearing. I think it's because Artair tries to be a full-fledged person, but I think something broke in him a long time ago, and he's not good at it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's sad, actually. No, no, it's sad, but I it find... It can be both. <laughs> yeah. It can I, be I, both. I, All right, that's fair. I, yeah, I accept I, that. I think... I don't know. I find it interesting that Kale is like, how does one reconcile these two halves of being? And Artair's like, it's simple, just kill one of them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, there are two wolves yeah, inside Arun's, you, right? Yeah. Arun's like, it's time for therapy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tyr needs all the therapy. Period. And stop. Um, cool. Uh, cool. A zero dice, huh? Do I want, no, I don't want to push. I'm, I'm probably going to need dice for, for doing things. Uh, huh. Yeah, Judd, I'd like to start a long-term project uh, to help uh help uh Arte to like healthily process his trauma uh, how many ticks is that i don't think you can yet <laughs> no i 36 yeah, no i or maybe i that's... just wanted the joke i just wanted the joke no that's actually i think I that's have... a legit question but the no, problem is that Arte doesn't start... trust you enough to no, open at, up right at some point i am gonna start that clock but yeah, yeah. i agree i, don't think, I think you need a little more leverage though <laughs> Not leverage. That's the wrong word. Oh, Insight, like connection, something like that. Yeah, that's that's really what I'm looking for. Trust. You need trust. We need trust. All right. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh yes, I'm rolling my zero die consort. Am I? Oh, this is gonna end well. Uh, <laughs> you could take a devil's bargain. <laughs> Judd, do you have a devil's oh, bargain? I'm in. Um. I mean, I think it could be that that um, in 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 giving over details of yourself like too much gets out and so there's like plus two heat on this job or you know we can't whatever. we have three right now and we're if we have to I, i'm hoping we don't have to kill people right but if we do we're probably going to go into ire at that point so I, I i literally can't take that because it's gonna mess up like a long-term campaign okay. okay okay um is there yeah i saint saint has it in the chat right is there someone in the Archers who used to be part of like a rival Merc company, or like someone Arte has a a beef a with, past or with? even maybe a friendship with? In a sense that oh, he I might like, be able to I leverage like me. Like either of those is fine. You know what I I like that better. Um, 
I'll give you a devil's bargain. If this is one of your mercenaries who was one of your archers, you knew him as a really good archer. He trained a lot of the other folks. And uh, this is he kind of I, like left with honors and I gave him extra stuff and tried to bribe him to stay, but he left anyway. Yeah, he he, he went back home and Longed he's like, I've got to go back. Yeah, I've got to go back home. My, my mom saying. is retiring and I, I'm going to become the new trainer in Avens. Awesome. So so how does this let, let me let me ask you about about the devilry in this. Like obviously I'm I'm super into this. Yeah. But like does he know who I does he figure out who I am? Like you'll hear the stories of me mentioning a couple things. It's like, "Hey, we met this guy who did this thing." He's like, "I know a guy who did that." Wait. Did he have silver hair? No, but lots of braids. Okay, wait, maybe. <laughs> so um, yeah, like, it sounds like maybe set up for a minus one die on a military engagement roll. I'm okay with that. Of like, of like, like he knows your tactics, right? Like, I'm also oh, okay with that. that. Yeah, does that sound good, Judd? Yeah, yeah, let me yeah, roll my one great. die. Woo! 50 oh, 50 friends. Better, better get a fucking six. Oh, I. I... Uh, so I'm just gonna click consort. I I don't think this has a position, but uh, let me. Uh, actually, does it have a position? Judd, you tell yeah, me. It's, a, it's, an, it's an action roll. Uh, oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, for recon. All right. Judd, um, does it have a position? Uh, it's risky standard. Perfect. No. No, it's bad. It goes bad. Ooh. Well, I mean, what happens? Tell me. Do I find out information that I don't want to know, or do I end up in a desperate position somehow, which I'm okay with? Yeah, I think. Um... Oh yeah, I am showing dice on screen. Good. <laughs> I was like, Oof. I I, th I think you do end up in a desperate situation. Okay. And and it's like, you're asking a lot of questions, and uh, I think you 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 feel the people in the bar kind of turn on you, and uh, and they're archers, right? So they don't have. They've got like these long knives um and and they they are smart enough to not go for their long bows in here you know um and they take out their long knives and i think your friend is the only one who doesn't have his out and he says let me let me take you to sir alpin and we'll work this out so in other words, I like test their loyalty and what I actually see is that they are actually loyal and they draw knives yeah. on me. And yeah. I'm just like, come on, lads, are you really, is it really going to come to this? And and he says, like, let me take you to Sir Alpin. Is Sir Alpin my friend or is my friend the person that's taking me to Sir Alpin? Who's like yeah, in no, charge um, of this? Uh, yeah, the, um, sir, uh, your friend is, 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 is Horace, who's the one who's talking to you. Um, you, you, you've, you've never heard of Sir Alpin. Okay. Just making a note about this person. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, I think I, I I stand up and I say, "You want me to go talk to someone? No problem." And I look around at everyone with the knives. I'm like, "It's not me. You have to convince." And he says, "Come on, let's go." All right. Uh, where does he take me? Yeah, he takes you to uh, a well-kept, hedged manor. Uh, that a, a landed knight lives in. Damn. And I think you notice right away. Uh, it it's it's um it's house Kared, and you know would you know that like like a little bit of the history of that house? Do you think like do you would you know like what what like give me something super generic like like I think surface level top level like it's yeah, the I'm, kind I'm, of I'm just gonna give it to you. It's, yeah, it's, I think it's, Oren, I think Oren probably mentioned it while he was like talking about the 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 troubles on the border, right? Okay. Yeah, I I think so. House Kreid was a vassal of uh, House Fiorag before they fell. Oh. And when, Okay. And when Fjordag fell, they became the sworn swords of Gear. Of Gear. Yeah, of course. All right. And, uh, they did pretty. They did pretty well out of it. 
Yeah. And yeah, Sir Alpin is this uh, older man. Um, he's kept himself well. And, uh, you know, white white beards trimmed trimmed really short uh for war and uh and hair the ha, you know what hair he has left is the same and he says horace what's going on and he says this is my friend uh he ran the mercenary company i told you about when we were across the channel and he says come in you're my I guest I I'm check for the desperate sir- situation hiding under the carpet. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. I think I step I'm, in. I, I give him the sup head bob and, uh, you know, offer my, offer sir- my hand. I'm I'm Sir Alpin Kraed. I am the uh, sworn sword of Lady Gear and the warden of Evans. I think I'm going to be honest with him, which is terrible planning. Uh, I'm just yeah. like, I'm our terror. Uh, he says some people call me the Tempest Hawk we're hearing strange things out of the Sedgelands what kind of strange are we talking which queen of the Lair strange it's not that strange she's my cousin Arter, I'm going to ask you to drop your weapons so I can bring you to the Primrose Estates and you can be an honored guest of House Gear. Oh, come on, old man. You know me better than that. What, you think I'm going to cool my heels in some sort of dungeon without actually putting up a fight? Let's be real here. And, uh... Listen. I think, like... You, I, I, I think you, you, you felt Horace kind of like take a step back, like so that he could draw his his blade if he needed to. You know, like you feel them both kind I of. I think like, I don't even look at Horace, and I'm like, uh, I, I think like talking to him in the voice of the old commander, right? I say, yeah. Horace, how many people can I kill on my way out? Probably. All of them? Probably a lot. I look at the night and I'm like, I've got no quarrel with you. I got no quarrel with your people in this town. None. You're marching trouble into my town. That's true. But that's a problem between nobles. It ain't a problem between you and me. So let's say you kill me, you kill Horus. Let's not talk about that. That's not going to happen. Both of us know, and we're not going to draw down. If you did, I would have that, walked in here. Yeah, that's the desperate. That's the desperate. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Should yeah, I yeah, command yeah. him? Because I'm trying to. I, I'm actually trying to scare him here. I feel like my wound doesn't apply here because I'm hiding it pretty well, right? Because like if I'm like limping and ouching and all sorts of other stuff, that's fine. But I'm just like, nope, I got this. You know I'm badass. You know my reputation. I'm I'm playing it on hard. Um, what, what effect does the wound have? Uh, it's a it's a standard level two harm. Um, it, okay. the the question really is, so like level two harm generally gives minus one die to any situation where the wound is applicable. So if I was trying to fight okay. him, there'd be no way for me to avoid that. But what I'm Got trying it. to do is like a social role here, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm bluffing. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I'm down with the, the, the wound not affecting it. Yeah. All right, cool. Shit, now I have to push. Let's do it. Uh, desperate it. standard. Yep. Hell yeah, I do. Here we go. Holy shit, I start with command. Let's do it. Desperate. Click. Don't forget standard. to mark XP. Click. Oh, don't forget to mark XP. That's right. You get to resolve XP. That's wild. I didn't think oh, that was ever going to happen. I'm marking two stress. Here we go. Is this like the first desperate roll of the whole fucking game? No, I, I've had uh, desperate prowess rolls before. I think the very first roll of the game was was desperate prowess roll. Yeah. Six. Oh yeah, that push comes in. Oh. <laughs> so, I was a little. I was a little scared here. <laughs> Holy shit. 
So I think <laughs> um, given that you all follow a church of paths and doorways, um, entering into the doorway is like a big deal, right? And so he kisses his fingers and touches the door sill. And like, if you do that and walk in, like you're his guest, right? And and he is means- honor bound to uh, to defend you and and not stab you in the back. And if you were to die, your wraith would seek him out more ferociously than others, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I think our tear doesn't believe in this one ounce. Nice, but love it. He's not going to pick a fight over it, so he tries to give it as much reverence as he feels this man needs not to fool him, but because he's trying to show a respect to his beliefs that he may not yeah. necessarily share. Does yeah. that scan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I love it. And I think, like, he walks you, like, into that, through that front door into, like, a a, a, gr- a hall and and sits down, you know, at the nearest chair and offers you a seat and says... uh We're not going to draw down, Ortair. No. So, what do we have to talk about? Who runs Evans? Because I think I'm looking at him. I am the warden of Evans. I watch it on behalf of Lady Brianna Gear. You related to her by blood? I am not. Good. <laughs> Actually, what I say is good. Then we don't have to draw on, draw down on each other any other day. Uh, I think what I say is like... I'm not going to mince words. Avins is the military force that keeps uh, White Beam in her pocket. Which means that we have to take Avins. And now there are two ways to do this. One is that you can become a governor of this place. Treat the people the same. Do them right. Keep them safe from rates without having to pay some sort of exorbitant fee. And all you have to do is shift who you... Yeah, I know she really wants cuddles. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's so cute. That's cat all you have to do is take me. care of this cat for me. Um, <laughs> yes. Um... This 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 right here is why our terror is kind to horses because I love my kittens. Ata actually has like twelve pet cats. We probably, yet, probably, all, absolutely, no all, question. They're all uh, totally albino and wraith touch. Oh, <laughs> yikes! I don't think wraiths go for, for for animals as much. Maybe well, I don't know. Maybe all right. So, uh, but I think what what he says is, um, listen, uh, allegiances shift and things like that, but. There's a difference between dealing with wraiths and causing wraiths. I think that any time I can avoid blood being spilled, unless the name of the lair is attached to it, I try to. Um, I guess what I'm trying to tell you is, right now, whether you like it or not, this is going to happen. And my question is just how many wraiths you want to make. We've got all the might of the Sledgelands marching here, and we've got pretty powerful claim to the throne. If nothing else, we've actually got leverage against Lady Brianna herself. So I'm looking to see exactly like what the possibilities are going forward. If you want to lay low and maybe wait and see how everything else shakes out, that's fine. But just understand that we have to be suitably cautious because your archers are pretty famous at striking from a distance, sometimes from behind. (laughs) So um, I guess like just warrior to warrior um straight up we're not looking for a fight but we do need to make sure that you're not going to be part of the next fight and i'd love to know where you stand on that i was young when fiorig fell and i couldn't help them And now I work for their enemies. I can't just stand by and let another house fall. Different question. 
I'm not asking you to stand by and let another house fall. I'm asking you to help Furig now. Ooh. How would I be? How would I be? I'd like to declare a flashback. <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it! Help I'd me like out here. Pitch, I'd like to pitch. I think this is a zero stress flash flashback. Like this is just talking. This is, all this is just talking. Yeah, we cross the mountains. We have plenty of time to chat. Exactly, we have plenty of time to talk. Right. I think I think as part of like while Oren was telling the story of like, um, you know the how the fall of House Fureg and how that went and you know what happened to the nice monastery that he used to work at and all of that. I think he also he also mentioned that like there are there are incredibly vague rumors, <laughs> lacking a lot of specifics, but like supposedly there is a lost heir, right? Is there? The, the last of the Ferrak. Oh. And like, where is he? Giant, you know, the rumors vary wildly as to what happened to him, including like, he's doing his own like kale stunt over the border, you know, like gathering I see. supporters over there. There's one where he's up in the mountains. Oh, holy shit, the kale, you got, that's your thing. You need to get this <laughs> alliance in our pocket. That's it. You you can like make friends with this other young man, this young man who's had the same experience with you. I um, I but yeah, I think like Kale, I think like, sorry, not Kale. I think for Arte, like, yeah, like no, having like the concrete thing to point point at as like, you know, Fiorek never like truly fell. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's super handy. Yeah. Kale, do something about this. Um, but I, yeah, I think I, I, I'm sure that Kale will have a cool scene where this becomes true in a second and I'm just going to rely on that. And even if I don't, I'm going to lie about that. Um, I just look at the guy and I say like, Listen, I know that you're going to hear a witch queen's name a lot louder than mine. But at the end of the day, I was there when... What was the name of the Lair Keep? On the Night of No Moon? Shall we name we it? We named it. Yeah, Castle something? Is it, the wi- is it the Witch Keep? It can be now. I think it makes sense that that name is, like, burned. <laughs> like a long That's way. fine. But I would say, like, I-, I was there the night the Witch Keep fell. Um... And I know what it's like to bear a burden like that for any amount of time. Now I see the difference between me and you is that you've accepted a different task in life. Whereas I still understand that pain a little bit too closely, maybe. But the same way that I've planted my banner and I'm supporting Kale Lolaire, you can plant your banner and support the heir of House Hjorig. And if not... You can at least put those wraiths to rest by giving them some justice and closure. Oof. I would like to spend a stress to help. That's cool. Because you help me in a flashback with ha- secret information. Yeah. I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm. Uh, do we need to roll, to Jed? Are we rolling? Do, do, do yeah, we find, yeah, or, I, or do we use that command roll for the, for the thing? Um, this feels like a sway, not a command. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, Shit, yeah, let's yeah. Do it. And I, I think Your the command was like the command is we're not throwing down, right? Yeah, yeah. No, this good. is that's this good. is now something else. This is like, you know. March All right, with so us. I've got zero sway. Let's see what we can craft out of this. I'm gonna push myself again, which puts me at like seven stress. So please help. Yeah, I mean, I I'm, I'm gonna spend one. I'll give you I'll give you another one. So uh, position and effect, Jed. Uh, <laughs> no, I think it's risky. Great. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Let's roll some dice. Don't betray me. Don't betray me. Love to just like do a score in recon. Really. Woo! Six. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Put some dicks on them um, blocks. <laughs> yeah, I think he says. How am I the social character here? All right, let's do this. <laughs> if your witch queen marches to take back Fiora Keep from the wraiths and put them to rest. House Koreid will be there to help. That I can promise you. Okay. I'll pass it on. It was good to meet you, Arthur. I'm glad neither of us had to die. <laughs> Everybody thinks that soldiers always just want to pick fights. <laughs> First rule of being a soldier is that the first rule of being a good soldier is not to die. Oh, don't act like I'm 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 
hitting this out of nowhere. You 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 asked Horace about how many people you'd have to kill to get out. Come on now. I clap him on the shoulder. I'm like, I do what yeah, I have yeah. to. Oh, no, I think you, it's funny. You, you said I, I clap him on the shoulder and I was about to say he claps you on I the shoulder. I think we both do. Oh, that's cool. Both, like, just, it's like, a, both, oh, like, just, look, yeah. camaraderie. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, but Everyone no, seriously, I'm going to go talk to Gail. Yeah. I made a awesome. friend. Oh, I should. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I think <laughs> all the friends would zero consort. Uh, fantastic. Uh, Kale, uh... What's, what's the student's how, name one more time? If you can put it in chat later, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, All right, sweet. Kale, um, I, I think your recon has kind of been, uh, detailed a little bit. Uh... Yeah, I, I will say, my energy is starting to dip. I think just having been off camera or off out of the scene for like 40 minutes so, yeah uh, I, sorry no no i just i just uh, i'm not sure if i have the energy to, to do that scene right now yeah 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 yeah. um i mean it's late we can call it we can start with yeah. that scene next game yeah that'd be great if possible uh, okay. yeah i'll write down okay. what we need to do in the in the roll 20 awesome yeah yeah we'll yeah, start right there and then and then we'll we'll do that sure. and then we'll launch into the launch into the the sortie or the job or whatever sounds, sounds good, good. Awesome. Uh, do we oh, want yeah. to do XP's? Yeah, well, that's the thing we do. This in the is game. why I, I showcased that I didn't actually read my XP triggers. <laughs> Same. <laughs> You're in good company. All right. Who wants to go yeah. first? Hmm. I, I'm happy to start. Go. Yeah, go for it. Right. Uh, I would like to advocate for the following. I think in my conversation with Ilias, I took initiative to call on a fa to call in a favor from my old friend and get him to, to give us some information and kind of help us out. Yeah. Uh, I didn't make sacrifices to protect the innocent. Like... The only maybe case for that would have been protecting the gear kid, but he's an asshole. He's not an innocent at all, so, like, fuck him. Uh, <laughs> I think I did challenge the claimant's assumptions on a situational problem where, you know, when Kale was like, will you help me pray? And Arn was like, what you need is not prayer, my child. Like, let us have a different kind of a conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, I think, you know, I express my heritage background or scars. I I think I think like uh, Aaron's like lowborn heritage came out a lot in this episode. We got a lot of like mm. the the peasant perspective. Nice. Uh, yeah, and then I think and like you know I like I worked on a clock that's all about my drive, so like obviously I did that. Uh, and also, yeah, I think like both. I think my scene with Kale was aimed kind of at both of my beliefs about her and temper tempering her drive with caution. And also sharpening her mind to a razor's edge. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm gonna mark. I'm gonna mark four XP. Nice. Which means I can take a new playbook advancement. Awesome. That's me. I have mine up if you like. Go go go. I, yeah, I have addressed a challenge by following the council of your retinue. May get that next time. <laughs> Um, don't know if it, yeah, I don't think it happened. I don't think it happened this time around. Uh, asked a member of your written you to take a risk or make a sacrifice. I don't think I hit that either. <laughs> and made a sacrifice to fulfill a promise to an ally or a vassal. And that did, <laughs> these XP triggers are really hit or miss. <laughs> no, I mean, I, <laughs> they okay, require so you I, to I, kind I, of do a job in a session. Otherwise you can't really pull them off a lot of the time. Yeah, yeah, that is very true. Like the time we did a sortie, I was like, "Oh yeah, XP's all the way through." But yeah, it's, it's a bit rougher on the, just the downtime. Honestly, but the only—I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jen. I, I have yeah, an argument I, for I, one of them, but go ahead. Yeah, me, me, me too. Um, the the what, what was the one? Followed advice from a friend or something? Uh, uh, addressed a challenge by following the counsel of your retinue. Um, I mean, I I feel like. You got advice from Artair about how to show your commitment, and then you got advice from uh, Oren, and then Isbel was like, hey, what's up? And you kind of like showed your synthesis. That was that. exactly and the I, one that I was gonna, that I was gonna quote. Oh yeah, 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 yeah cool, I'll, I'll say that. Awesome. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. And then I think I yeah expressed heritage background or scars. We got some of that with like uh, oh what was the name? A uh, Aiden A Aiden. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I think oh shoot uh, yeah expressed beliefs and drive. I think we got we got a, we got a bit of that. We'll be arguing. <laughs> between Ater and then also conversations with, with Arn about like the value of life and stuff. Yeah. Um, and I would take one because these folks walked into Whitebeam with you. I mean, you didn't directly ask them to, but your presence here is the reason why they're doing that. Oh. Um, <laughs> and, and like an Ater particularly, right? Like, yeah. Because he's that, like, going to the pub plan. Yeah, that going to the pub plan was like, that was not a plan without risk. Yeah. Well, it's not just that, it's also if we're doing the sound of music, help on some mountains, uh, our tears still hurt. Like, that's a, yeah, that's a thing. He's, and, and the thing is, yeah. he may say words like, you don't need to even ask, of course I'm coming along, but I mean, let's be real, if you're like, eh, well, somewhere in the Sedgelands, we'll deal with this campaign in the winter or whatever, like, he would have also done that, right? Like, <laughs> he may have been ornery about it, but like, it's true. Aw, cool. I'll take an XP for that too. Yeah. That's me. All right, let's take a look at mine. Cause poof, you made sacrifices to gain strategic advantage. Just putting myself in an enemy's keep at the end there, count for one. Oh, heck yeah. Excellent. Uh, you took initiative to preempt a threat. I also, f I, I, I hate to quote the same thing for two XP brackets, but I feel like that's true. Yep. Uh, then yep. I, I would, yeah, totally. You gotta advocate for that stuff. <laughs> uh, three, sure. uh, you cancel the claimant to choose aggression over compromise every time. <laughs> uh, I, I, yep. I think the specific instance is when the little air, or sorry, the gear kid showed up and, you know, uh, Audrin's like, perhaps we can politic and use this as leverage. And like, our tears like, but we're going to murder him. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's be serious about this. He's not going to live. Right. <laughs> so, um, uh, you express your heritage backgrounds or background or scars. I think I, I got to talk a lot about being a mercenary captain and mm -hmm. you express your beliefs and drive. This is probably the first session where I actually got to talk about my drive just a little bit. Um, and I think that that's, yeah, that's a, that's a hundred percent. Uh, all right. So, so I actually, what is your drive again? Uh, my drive is actually, that's a good question. I think it's actually mechanized in this game. Once again, and by mechanized, I mean, I wrote it down and it gives me an XP periodically. Uh, I will have to find it. Hang on. It's on my other sheet. I somehow did not transfer it to this one. All right. I will find it for you. I don't have it on hand. Uh, it's actually written down though. Uh, okay. so cool. Let's, let's just keep rolling. Yeah, that's that's. I'll mark four for right it. now, and I'll 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 snag one more. Case that's we're done, right? Yeah. There's no, we, you know, we don't got to do crew, so. Yeah. yeah. I think that's it. All right. Do we want to do outros? Yeah, sure thing. All right, cool. Okay. Uh, let me go first so I can tinker with the screen because I, as usual, I'm not 100 percent ready for a smooth outro like a Sean. Uh, so uh, hey, I've been Strash. Uh, he him. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Strash A. I'm also one of the regular streamers streamers here. Uh, I don't have a, I don't think I have another game planned, although there are lots of games on the channel happening in the next couple of weeks. But I think uh, I'm mostly going to be back for this game. This is the one that I'm I'm mostly playing on the channel at this time. Um, so yeah, I don't I don't I don't think there's a there's a whole lot more for me to announce other than follow me on Twitter if you want to get news and updates from random games and stuff that I make. Uh, I think I'm I'm. <laughs> ignoring the existence of next week for right now so i think that's uh yep i'll see you all next game hey uh luke you should tell us about yourself hello i'm luke uh you can find me on twitter at wildwoods games you should buy my games they're good that's pretty much all i've got to say this was a great session i had a good time lauren how about you yeah I, i've been lauren you she day i'm at the story kiwi on twitter etc if you'd like to know more about me um yeah, I think most of the stuff I have going on is Rebel Crown, so I'm very pumped to see how we go fair in White Beam in a couple of weeks. Otherwise, yeah. um, I it was recently announced that I may be authoring um, a Girl Underground or Alice in Wonderland inspired setting for, or sorry, adventure for 50 Sold Lesbians. <laughs> so, 
if you haven't picked up Thirst of Lesbians and feel like uh, also playing Thirst of Lesbians in a Portal Fantasy adventure, then yeah, I think it's Googleable if you look up Thirst of Lesbians Kickstarter and stuff. And yeah, how about you, Judd? Uh, I'm Judd, he, him. And uh, yeah, I'll be podcasting on Daydreaming About Dragons uh, probably probably this week. Should be a new, sh- new show coming out. And uh, yeah, it's been great to play on the actual play stream again. It's been nice. Mm-hmm. This is like where I spend every other weekend. It's like uh, when my parents got divorced. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Someone Wait, are you saying our channel session. kidnaps you, Judd? <laughs> Kidnapped? My goodness! Spending every other no, weekend with my father is hardly channel, being kidnapped. The channel so, has shared now. custody. Oh, oh, I see. The channel has shared custody. My bad. My bad. <laughs> shared custody. My goodness. Uh, uh, I would like to circle Lord. back around because I did actually remember. I do have a thing concretely to plug. The actual play podcast that I'm the creative director of, Feelings First, which is a queer, kind of emotional, narrative-focused actual play podcast, has started our season of masks. So that oh. is now dropping oh, right. in the in the feed there. You should go check that out. You can find us on Twitter at feelingsfirst underscore. Check it out. That that part, that I, I'm not a huge fan of actual play podcasts, but I really really like that one, and so you should check it out. Uh, someone else on a Slack channel I was on said that uh, they keep their they keep their story uh, feral as fuck, as they said. So I thought that was pretty cool. Feral AF. So check it out. 